Here we are in Salmon Falls Creek Canyon in southern Idaho. Uh, this is an amazing little canyon uh, that actually drains out of northern Nevada. Uh, for a pretty big drainage basin, it's a pretty small creek. It is dammed upstream behind Salmon Falls Creek Dam uh, where there's a reservoir there. But it's a spectacular way to access some really amazing geology here in south central Idaho. Um, we've kayaked up to this point here and you can see behind me these rocks in the immediate canyon in the lower part of the canyon. These are all rhyolites from 8 to 10 million years ago. These are rocks that formed when the Yellowstone volcano was in the region and was erupting explosively and also producing thick sluggish uh, lava flows from rhyolite flows that would have just been oozing out of this thing like kind of molten toothpaste if you will across the landscape. Um, couple other things, if you look up even higher on the rim, you can see there's a different type of rock there, a little more layered rock, a little darker, and that's basalt. So that's a very different volcanic rock coming from localized shield volcanoes, much younger than these rocks lapping up onto it. So we sort of get both those volcanic histories here as well. Many of the canyons in southern Idaho are exceptionally narrow and deep, just like Salmon Falls Creek Canyon. Uh, and the reason for that is goes back to a couple of different factors. Rivers will cut deep canyons depending on how much water they're carrying, depending on how much sediment they're carrying. The sediment actually does the cutting down into the canyon. And in southern Idaho, what you can think about uh, is you can kind of think of this stick as representing the profile of a river. And so this would be the head of the river upstream. This would be the downstream end here. And the steeper we can make this stick or this river flow, this is what we call gradient, the more energy it's gonna have to cut down into the landscape. So many of these streams and rivers in Idaho, like the Bruno River, even the Snake River, Salmon Falls Creek, um, other rivers and creeks in southern Idaho, had a probably average gradient throughout much of their history. Uh, but then when Lake Idaho, this big massive freshwater lake in western Idaho, when it drained out to the north, forming Hell's Canyon and connecting to the Columbia River, that lowered base level. So if I take the place the river is flowing to and drop it down, Notice that the slope or the gradient of the river is now a lot steeper. And with that kind of velocity and energy, rivers then were able to cut down through the volcanic rocks beneath them and form these big spectacular canyons like here we have in, at Salmon Falls Creek.